I hate to have to say this, uh, I really do, but uh, I, you know, I'm a pastor and so people come and talk to me about what they're dealing with in life and you know, people and relationships and I am just regularly reminded that there really are people in this world who are small and petty and, uh, and mean-spirited and, and really in a certain sense they're pitiful. Um, oftentimes these types of folks, of course they're immature and, and they're sad and I realize they've been jaded and, and broken by things that have happened in life. I, I, I get that, I really do. But the choices that they have made in response to the circumstances, the choices have not been good. Like, there were other choices. There were better choices they could have made. That option was possible in, in many of these cases. Now, with God's help, we can be civil and kind to people like this, and, and we should be. We can be gracious, and, and we can be forgiving, and that would be good. With God's help, yes, let's, let's do that. But I just want to let you know, Again, because of I, I have conversations about this, I want to let you know that we are not required as Christians to constantly remain within the range of their assault. Um, and, and this is not a one-size-fits-all kind of a situation, uh, for sure, but I'm, I'm speaking generally. In a general sense, we are allowed to, uh, metaphorically speaking, we're allowed to remove ourselves from the line of fire that they are directing at us.